Hey everybody, William Brown back again. And just thought I'd make a little quick video here and weigh in on the hot topic of the day. Gay marriage. <laughs> oh, that's a goodie. Now, first of all, you know, before I get into it, you know, it's funny to me, like when the issue is abortion, how you get all these dumbass libs telling you, if you're not a woman, then you don't have any place in the dialogue. It doesn't apply to you. Okay, well, you can flip, take it with this issue and flip it right back on the libs, you know, that unless you're getting a dick in your butt, gay marriage ain't got anything to do with you, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but anyways, uh, the logic is flawed when it's applied to abortion, and it would be flawed to apply that to this debate because, um, you know, it's, it affects all of us. So, okay, to start with, the conservatives are all about, we must defend traditional marriage. Uh, yeah, you know, if you want to defend traditional marriage, you'd probably be better served working on that divorce rate. What's it, 50% now? So, um, to say that gay marriage disrespects traditional marriage, yeah, tr traditional marriage is disrespecting traditional marriage. Marriage, it's an institution that uh, seems like not too many people really have a lot of respect for anyways. So, uh, let's make that point there. Now, as for the libs, they're up screaming, equality, equality, they need equality. You ain't guaranteed equality anywhere in the Constitution. It says all men are created equal. That's a bitch slap to an institution known as the divine right of kings. That doesn't have shit to do with everybody got to be treated the same. You come into this world equal. You're all born naked. and You come into this world alone and you leave it alone. So uh, there's your equality right there. You're born equal and then where you go from there, it's different. So to say that the Constitution guarantees you equality, it, bullshit. So what's the truth about gay marriage? Do they have the right to be married? Better yet, does anybody have the right to be married? You know, marriage is a religious institution. It's a man-made device, okay? So to say that you have a right to it, that anybody has a right to it, it you don't. Know, it's a man-made thing. Do you have a right to anything else devised by the mind of man? Well, no. Uh, unless, of course, you're a Democrat and you got the right to all kinds of shit at somebody else's expense. But so, as far as having the right to be married, you know, that's a distinction bestowed on you by religious authority. It has nothing to do with government, laws, or none of that. So, uh, as far as the right to be married, mm, Nobody has that, you know. Sorry, sorry, traditional conservatives. <laughs> so, um, so what's the truth about gay marriage? Well, the thing is, even though the government is not supposed to be a respecter of religions, government took it upon itself to give a tax break to people who are married. A married couple get a tax break that single people don't get. <sighs> So, do gays have a legitimate equal protection beef? Yes, they do. They most definitely do. Because if a religious distinction entitles you to save more money, why can't they have the same religious distinction? If they can find some, you know, sandal wearing, bead sporting, witch doctor motherfucker to, to booyah, you're married, presto, it, then more power to them. They should get the same tax break that you get. Uh, now, if you traditional conservatives don't like that and you want to take away the one legitimate means that gays have to claim to be married, do away with the income tax. It's unconstitutional anyways. If you've done your research, then you'd know that all those crazy Ron Paulers are absolutely correct when they said that Graduated income tax is illegal. Our founding fathers specifically forbid it in the Constitution. So, uh, which begs, you know, the million dollar question, well, why do we have income tax in the first place? Well, I can answer that in one word. Bribery. <laughs> there you have it. That's why we have a graduated income tax. Excuse me. And as long as we have that income tax and it's giving a tax break to married couples, then gays have a legitimate beef. And you conservatives can suck on that, but that's the truth. And if you don't like it, pfft. Cry me a river. Gays have the right to get this tax break just like straights do. 
If you don't like it, get rid of the income tax. Anyways, this is William Brown. That's my two cents on it. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching. And may whatever God you worship bless you abundantly. Even that strange voodoo God that would bless a gay marriage union. Gays, bless you and your little gay God too. Peace out. Oh yeah, and I thought I would add a little addendum to this video because while I was editing the first part of it, I realized that I left something out. Just kind of like, just take another quick shot at traditional conservatives. And this pertains to gays in the military. Okay, first of all, did you ever stop and think that maybe gay dudes are like, uh, pretty fucking patriotic because we live in a country that allows them to be gay and not get fucked with. So, uh, you know, you're looking around the world, I don't think most countries are like that. Now, you traditional conservatives, uh, you're the ones that want to, you know, go overseas and blast a bunch of Muslims. So, um... Well, did you ever stop and think that in Muslim countries, being gay is a capital crime? Like in Iran, they got a crane. Hell, they'll hang 15, 16 of them at one time. Hang them. And I ain't talking about they drop and it breaks their neck and they die quick. No, they lift them up real slow and they, they strangle to death hanging off the end of the noose there. So that's pretty fucked up for gays over there. And, you know, and the point is, you know, you'd think that a gay soldier would be just especially motivated to go kick some Muslim ass, right? So, uh, you know, maybe in their own faggy little way, they are more patriotic than you, because uh, I can see where a gay dude will go over to that side of the planet and go on a mission against those motherfuckers, you know, especially if we're going to dance with Iran, which uh, y'all seem so wanting to gear, get geared up to do. So, uh, just thought I'd throw that out there, you know, you, you might think about that. Gays in the military, you know, what's the problem? They want to serve their country. Uh, if somebody's willing to go to the other side of the planet and get their guts splattered all over a battlefield, fuck big deal is it about their sex life, man? What the fuck is it to you? You know, so, uh, man, uh, gay dudes want to serve their country, gay women, let them serve. What the fuck? How the hell is that any of your business? It ain't like they serve in any ways. Well, they ain't serving any ways. You know they are. They just... Don't ask, don't tell, all that bullshit. Okay, well, whatever. I got no problem with gays serving in the military. You know, if they want to get out there and defend our freedoms and all. Okay, it's like during the convention when that dude, uh, was it South Carolina convention, I think it was, they had that, that guy up on the big screen and he said he's a gay soldier. Well, as soon as they found, when he was a soldier, they were all cheering and then when they heard he was gay, yeah, they started booing him. You're going to boo a gay soldier, somebody who evidently has bigger nuts than you because you're sitting in an air-conditioned auditorium and he's over there in the hot desert sun, you know, defending our freedoms, as y'all put it. So, just thought I'd take another quick shot at traditional conservatives. You know, I hate to get after my own like that, but, uh, man, you know, it's, it's a topic for another video. It's the interaction that I had with somebody here recently, and I really had to stop and take stock at, at some of the traditional conservatives and their point of views and, and like, Man, you know, I've been a Republican all my life. Why am I putting up with these assholes, man? Some, somebody needs to start checking them, you know? <laughs> and uh, not just me, but people like you. You know, if you're a Ron Pauler or if you're a Rand Pauler or a Ted Cruiser, you know, if you're one of those kind of Republicans that lean that way, you know, we need to start checking some of these chumps. Anyways, my two cents. Thanks for watching.